You think you know Captain America the Winter Soldier? Well, here's 10 things you may not have known about the ninth film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. In order to keep filming a secret, the working title for the film was Freezer Burn. It was Scarlett Johansson's idea that Natasha Romanoff wear a necklace with an arrow on it as a reference to her teammate and occasional lover, Hawkeye. Oh wait, what about that girl from accounting? Laura, Laura, Lisa? Lillian. Lip piercing, right? Yeah, she's cute. Yeah. The fight in the elevator took seven days to shoot. Directors Anthony and Joe Russo shot alternate takes of Captain America's ketchup list. It varies depending on what country your copy of the film is from. I'll put it on the list. In the US, I Love Lucy and Steve Jobs. In the UK, The Beatles and Sean Connery. In Australia, Steve Irwin and Tim Tams. In Italy, Roberto Benigni. In France, Daft Punk and The Fifth Element. In Russia, Yuri Gargarin. In South Korea, the film Old Boy. And in South America, Shakira. No matter what country, Cap needs to watch Star Wars and Star Trek. When he does, he might see his friend Nick Fury as Mace Windu and Thor as Captain Kirk's father. During Agent Sitwell's interrogation, he mentions persons of interest to Hydra, including Stephen Strange, who is also known as the Marvel Comics hero Doctor Strange. The Helicarrier's list of targets include the Baxter Building, headquarters of the Fantastic Four, Tony Stark, and President Matthew Ellis. Nick Fury's grave states, The path to the righteous man, Ezekiel 2517, which we all know is from Pulp Fiction. And you will know my name is the Lord! when I lay my vengeance upon thee. There's a few interesting cameos in the film. Gary Sinise does the voiceover in the museum, Danny Pudi from Community, Avengers director Joss Whedon, oh yeah, and Stan Lee too. Oh man, I am so fired. Anna Kendrick, Felicity Jones, Alison Brie, Amelia Clark, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, and Elizabeth Olsen were considered to play Cap's neighbor, Kate slash Agent 13. Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige selected directors Joe and Anthony Russo to direct the film because he was impressed by the episodes of Community that they directed. And here's a bonus one. Anthony Mackie likes to say cut the check whenever he does something right in a scene. Cut the check! 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 Cut the That's it for this episode of You Think You Know Movies. Make sure to subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and get the latest movie and TV news on ScreenCrush.com.